Is the Coursera machine learning specialization by Andrew Ng actually worth it? That's going to be the topic of this video. So everybody's freaking out about AI, machine learning, deep learning with the new chat GPT that just came out. And this stuff is honestly pretty big brain. This is some of the most advanced coding that you can possibly do. But a lot of people are interested in learning this stuff now that it's starting to burst onto the mainstream scene. And one of the most well-known specializations and certificates that you can possibly get is going to be by Andrew Ng, and that is the Supervised Machine Learning Regression and Classification. Now this is a specialization that is a course that is one of three. So there's actually three total courses in this machine learning specialization. However, we're mostly just going to focus on the first one. Now you might be wondering who the heck is Andrew Ying and why the heck does everybody freak out about this certificate? What's so special about it? Well, Andrew is a computer scientist and entrepreneur that is known for his skills in artificial intelligence and machine learning. He is the co-founder of Google Brain and he's the former vice president of Baidu. And he's the founding leader of the Google Brain Deep Learning Project. He's also the founding father of Google Street View. And on top of it all, he's an adjunct professor at Stanford University. So he is a very smart and well-respected guy. And when he came out with a machine learning as well as a deep learning course on Coursera, everybody freaked out because he is basically a world-renowned expert on the subject. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over the machine learning course. Now this particular one, course one of three, is going to be supervised machine learning regression and classification. Now this course has a 4.9 star rating, which is really, really good. Um, a good rating on Coursera is like 4.6 stars. So 4.9 is pretty much unheard of, and it has a 99% thumbs up, right? And that's at 5,900 ratings. And by the way, if you wanna check out the specialization, I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. There is a seven day free trial, so you can check it out without paying any money whatsoever. And after that, I believe for the machine learning specialization, it is $49 per month. So like I said, click the link, it is an affiliate link. So if you click it and you choose to buy, it will help the channel out a little bit. And I appreciate that. All right, so let's go over just a bit of an overview of the course itself. So first of all, you do get a shareable certificate after you complete the course. And that's always really good. Certificates are becoming more and more respected. And this course in particular is actually highly respected in the machine learning, AI, deep learning industry. On top of that, there are flexible deadlines. So some of the Coursera certificates are completely flexible. This one, it's not completely flexible. There are flexible deadlines, right? But you can reset the deadlines in accordance to your schedule. It is 100% online, so that's great. You don't have to go to any physical locations. And this is a beginner level course somehow. I kind of doubt that a little bit. Uh, their definition of beginner might be a little bit different than most people's definition. So they say you need to know basic coding and high school level math, like arithmetic and algebra. And then all the other math concepts will be explained. And they say it takes approximately 33 hours to complete. Now this course goes by the week. So week one um, is introduction to machine learning. Week two is regression with multiple input variables and week three is classification. Now, by the way, Andrew first came out with the machine learning course in the early 2010s. So this is actually an updated version. It was updated just in 2022. So let's go ahead and go over some important variables like time to completion, the cost, the demand, the salary, the production value and engagement, the chances of landing you a job, as well as what value does the course offer overall. And then at the end, I'm gonna score all of these on a scale from one to 10, with 10 being the best, and give you a final score, as well as my opinion on whether this is worth it or not. So first of all, time to completion. It does say on the page that all three courses will take around two months. But with that being said, you could potentially finish it faster. It really depends on how busy you are. You know, maybe you have a full-time job, a family, you're very busy. And it also depends on how much you already know. So maybe you're already an expert in machine learning. In that case, you can probably breeze through it. But this person on Reddit said, it depends on the amount of time you can take out of a day, I guess. It took me almost 40 hours. And since my project at work, has been hectic to say the least, it will take me almost 1.5 months. I'm in the last week now. Now keep in mind that was the old machine learning course, so it's not necessarily exactly the same. 
So in this particular case, I would say it's likely going to take you somewhere between one to two months to finish the entire course. And if you compare this to something like getting a college degree or going to a boot camp, it's obviously much quicker. So getting a college degree takes like 5.1 years on average. And something like machine learning, uh, you're likely going to get a master's and in some case even a doctorate. Because like I said, machine learning is very big brain. And then a boot camp that varies greatly. Sometimes they take three months, sometimes they take 12 months. A lot of the time the coding boot camps are going to be longer. So this is a faster version of education. But with that being said, this is a total apples to oranges comparison. A certification is not the same as a boot camp, and a boot camp is not the same as a degree. But with that being said, you can get through this relatively fast. And I think one of the advantages is you can take this certification for almost nothing and just see if you like machine learning, right? If you're somebody who's 18 right now, maybe you're going to school, you're thinking about getting a computer science degree, why don't you just go ahead and take the certification and see if you like machine learning? If that's something that you are interested in getting into. So yeah, overall the time here, you have to give it a 10 out of 10. Next, we're gonna talk about the cost. So uh, Coursera costs about $49 a month for this particular one, this specialization. You also have a seven day free trial. So you can try it out for free for seven days. And then after that, you have to pay $49 per month. So if it takes you three months, that would be approximately $150. So the obvious comparison here, boot camps, $10,000 or more, college degrees, 80 to $100,000 for a bachelor's and even more for a master's. So this person on Reddit kind of summarized it. They say better than paying 20 to $30,000 for an MS degree that might also not prepare you for real world problems. For example, my data scientist brother supervised a new hire with an MS in CS from Stanford, and he knew nothing. And when he was put on warning that he had to get better at his job in like a month, he chose not to and then he was going to get a job at Google instead. Yeah, that kind of sounds like a likely situation in tech. So yeah, for the cost, I mean, this is an absolute no brainer learning these types of skills that almost nobody has these incredibly valuable skills for 150 bucks from the world renowned expert on machine learning, Andrew Ng. That's just incredible. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 10 out of 10. Don't worry, I'm not going to give every single one a 10 out of 10. In fact, this next one's going to be quite a bit lower. So next, let's talk about the demand for the types of careers you might go into with this certification. So some careers you might go into would be machine learning engineer, data scientist, NLP scientist, business intelligent developer, or a human centered machine learning designer. So if you type in machine learning engineer on LinkedIn at the entry level, you are going to see about 40,000 results. So there is a ton of people looking for machine learning engineers. If you type in data scientists at the entry level, there's going to be 144,000 results, business intelligent developer, 9,000 results, artificial intelligence engineer, 11,000 results, big data engineer, 8,800 results, research Research scientist, 5,500 results, and data engineer, 61,000 results. So there's actually even more careers than that that are related to machine learning, but I think you get the picture. There is a ton of demand for people who have these skill sets. And BLS is a little bit more general, but if you look up computer and information research scientists, you're going to see 33,000 jobs, and they're growing at 21%, which is much faster than average. Now, another really cool thing about Coursera certifications is you can actually put them on your resume as well as your LinkedIn. And you can say that you're taking the Coursera cert even if you haven't finished it. So this is actually a common way that recruiters, hiring managers, et cetera, headhunt people, find people for positions. So there's a very good chance that people will actually start reaching out to you if you have this certification on your profile. So that's kind of like a life hack of having these certifications. So overall, when it comes to the demand and also the amount of work you have to put in and the amount of specialization you have to have in order to get good at this and just basically how big brain you have to be, the demand isn't as good as you'd want to see. There are other software development, software engineering roles that are much easier to learn that have just as much demand, if not more. So with that being said, I will give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Next, let's go ahead and talk about salary. Now this one, wow, like machine learning engineers make a lot of money. So be BLS, again, very general, computer and information research scientists, $131,000 a year. If you look up machine learning engineer on Glassdoor, you're going to see $130,000 a year. Data scientists make $124,000. Business intelligence developers make $107,000. Artificial intelligence engineers make $127,000. Big data engineers make $116,000. Research scientists make $126,000. And data engineers make $112,000. So yeah, pretty much all the jobs that you would go into if you are an expert in machine learning, if you really know your stuff, are going to be 
very high paying jobs. And of course, you'd be working in the tech industry, which you have options to work at even higher paying jobs. It's not unheard of to get up to, you know, 250,000, 300,000, 500,000, even a million dollars a year. So when it comes to salary, absolute no brainer. This is a 10 out of 10. Next, let's talk about the production value and the engagement of the course. So this is one of those courses that if you look across the internet, people absolutely rave about it. Now I've done reviews on several of these Coursera certifications and some of them have kind of like lukewarm reviews. Some of them have like not so good reviews. This is one that has excellent reviews. Like all across the internet, people absolutely love this cert. So obviously Andrew Ng did a great job. He's the head instructor, but there's also other really good instructors as well. And here's a fellow YouTuber who kind of left a lot of praise for Andrew. I think the best thing that didn't change is the instructor. I'm so glad that Andrew Ng is still the one giving lectures in the new specialization. So this person, when they're suggesting how to learn about machine learning, says start with Andrew Ng course. They're referring to this course. It will help you covering the basics of machine learning, then make a project on it. Then you can and jump on neural networks, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. This person says, Hi, I think the Coursera course on machine learning is good to start. Teacher is Andrew Ng, a famous man in Silicon Valley. Here's the course link. Across the internet, this course gets awards. So for instance, uh, freecodecamp.org said that this was the best machine learning course in the world. And the specialization was actually an improvement as well, because a lot of people complained about them using MATLAB, and they actually switched to Python. So here's some comments. Andrew Ng's machine learning specialization is now in Python. All of the assignments are done in Jupyter Notebooks using Python 3. Uh, this person says, I'm glad Andrew finally decided to switch from R to Python. Now, the truth is this course is kind of made for people who are relative newbies. If you want to really become an expert on machine learning, you of course are going to have to take other courses beyond this and do more projects and learn more on your own. But with that being said, the production value and engagement on this one has to be a 9.5 out of 10. Next, we're going to talk about the chances of landing you a job. And unfortunately, this is the one where this course is going to take a little bit of a hit. Because like I said before, this is really big brain stuff, right? This is stuff where, you know, there's a lot of careers out there you can get into with a certification or an online course. I talk about many of them on my channel. This is not one of them you can get into in like, you know, three to six months. Uh, this is something that is going to take you years to learn, even if you're a genius. But with that being said, there are still some success stories. So for instance, this person says, I landed a job after three months of studying. Hear my story. I started with Andrew Ng deep learning specialization. I struggled with Python at first, but somehow managed to finish the first four courses. And yes, I did all the assignments. Here I felt that I'm missing something. All I knew now is supervised techniques, but Andrew kept talking about unsupervised learning. So yes, I took machine learning course by Andrew Ng. At this time, I wanted to fill my resume with projects. So I searched step-by-step -step projects and followed it. Mainly it was madewithml.com. I made two heavy projects, text classification and hand gesture recognition and four mini projects. So they didn't really go into what kind of background they had, like maybe they had an extensive coding background, but they were able to switch into a machine learning role in three months and they started with this course. Now, most people say that in addition to the certification, if you want to get a job without going to graduate school or something along those lines, you need to build out a really impressive portfolio. And that's something that's getting more and more common. People not only want to know that you have the skills or you say that you have the skills, skills needed for the job, but they actually want to see it, right? They want you to show them a portfolio that very quickly and clearly demonstrates that you have those skills. So for instance, uh, this person says, do Kaggle, build a project, start working on a portfolio where you can add and link projects to a resume. Start learning how to apply models to real world data sets to solve real world problems. This person says, write personal blog, create projects and put on GitHub, write a good looking readme. Even better, put your model in production using Flask. Companies are more interested in having something that looks alive rather than having a little bit of improved accuracy of the model. So I have to say this will help you to get a job in machine learning, but it's probably not going to get you a job, especially if you're somebody who is starting off with very little knowledge. Now, if you have an extensive background in software engineering, then you take this certification and you have a really good portfolio, then it might help you out. Then you might actually get a job right away. But for most people, this is not just going to get you a job right off the bat. So chances of landing you a job here, I'm going to have to give this one a 6.5 out of 10. Next, let's talk about what value does it offer. So when we talk about value, I always like to talk about risk and reward. So what are you risking here? 
In terms of money, you're risking about $150. In terms of time, you're risking maybe three months. Now you compare that to a college degree, boot camp, et cetera. College degree, you're risking 5.1 years, even more if you get a master's, and you're probably gonna risk like $100,000. With the boot camp, it's gonna be like $10,000, and you're risking three to 12 months of your life. So it's very clear that you're not risking all that much time, effort, or money. And so if for whatever reason, you don't like it within the first seven days, or even after the first seven days, you can just go ahead and cancel. If you cancel within the first seven days, you don't spend any money. If you cancel after the first seven days, it'll cost you about $50. So if you're in a position where, let's say you are a software developer, you're kind of in an entry level role, and you're wondering what should you specialize in, this might be a great thing for you to check out. See if you like machine learning. Maybe you start taking it and you absolutely hate it. That's great. You didn't waste a bunch of time going to grad school. And you got to figure out what you didn't like, which is going to help you figure out what you actually do like. So the value here is very obvious. It doesn't cost you that much time, effort, or money. For $150, this is an incredible value. I mean, you are not gonna find value like that anywhere else on the internet. So when it comes to a value perspective, I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. Now, the overall score is going to be 9.21 out of 10. I would say this is definitely not for beginners. It's probably better for people who already have a pretty extensive background in software development. But if you are somebody who wants to learn about machine learning and you want to get into the whole AI deep learning sort of thing, Andrew Ng is probably the best person to teach people about that. People absolutely rave about this course. I remember I asked uh, one of my Discord moderators, Chris, very knowledgeable guy in the tech industry, uh, what courses he recommended and this is one of the courses he recommended. He didn't really does not recommend that many things. So yeah, this is super good value. Highly recommend doing it if you wanna just check it out uh, to see if machine learning is something that you're interested in. And definitely check out my video right here where I talk about the top five Google certificates.